with this most recent update, we've seen Arya be awakened. I know this is one that a lot of people have been waiting for for quite a long time, since she is a free-to-play total attack commander, which is very rare. She's in very select company having that. So obviously because of that, and especially with the new combat system changes where commanders don't need their specific troop type present in combat to use their active ability anymore, she is probably one of the strongest investments with elite general tokens now for free to play awakenings and realistically I think everyone should be upgrading her at least to three stars I'd say. Like if you're a free to play player even if you're running spear cav j even just having her on your wall defensively the total attack will net you so much value that I definitely think it's a worthwhile investment. So at max she will have 38.4% total attack, 66% infantry defense, 18% infantry health, and like 180% wood production, if anyone cares about that. So her total attack is a little lower than I think people expected. People expected it to be by SEG's number, but it's about 5% lower than that. It is still total attack, however, which is amazing. You know, if you're running two lines, that will net you about 75% attack stats, which is better than anything else from free-to-play awakenings, obviously. Her four-star ability, when Ara uses active skills to attack the enemy target lineup, one death marker will be added to the target lineup. For every one death marker on the target lineup, Arya Stark's skill damage to that target increases by 20%. So that reads quite interesting. If you look at a report to see how this will play out, obviously if you have that, she's at 4 stars, which means she will have 10 second active ability cooldown. And that means she'll get her active off, I think, four times in a fight. Here, Chris and Seg are four stars, so they use it at 11 seconds. Then they use it at 21. So that's two active castings for them. And then I think it's at 30 down here, yeah. And 40 in the very last second of the fight. So that means... Chris and Seg here would attack, if this was Arya in their position, Arya would do 0% increased damage, and then 20% increased damage, and then 40% increased damage, and in this last hit here, she would do 60% increased active damage. So, averaging out that across the fight, you can basically interpret that active, at, or that four-star ability as a 30% increase to active ability damage for Arya, which is pretty good. And then if you have, say, Layla at 4 stars, it will gain even more value. Arya in general has very good interactions with Layla because of that. You can stack that really high with Layla. And imp formations with Layla are looking very strong right now. You could run something like 4 star Layla Annie. Lats, Arya, and then like Andrea or Haley to make it a bit more affordable. There's two elite token commanders in there. A lot of total attack. A lot of defense for the infantry. I can envision those sorts of formations being very strong right now. A lot of people running Imp Spear, Imp Cav with, with that setup. So all in all, I think... R is a very strong commander to be awakened. She also has car she also has combat rate in the tavern, which is something you always want if you have her at fifty in the tavern and get her to two stars, that will be about one point two five percent total attack, total health, and total defense. So there's a lot of passive stats you'll be getting just from getting her up to two stars and everyone can get her up to two stars really. That's also where you unlock the plus 10k army size at rank 10 when you have the items for it at least. So yeah, I definitely think Arya moves into the top tiers of these elite token commanders. It's another infantry which kinda sucks. We still only have Rob for Cav and Gorel for Spearman. Whereas we have 
Chris, Seg, Haley, and Arya for infantry. So that isn't ideal in my opinion, but for infantry formations, this is a boost. At least she has the total attack, which gives her some formational flexibility. Her four-star four, her four star is also not specific to frontlining, which Chris and Haley's are. Uh, Haley's just stops damage on infantry, which will only take effect when infantry are the frontline, obviously, and Chris's is a uh, defense increase. So Arya can get you consistent value no matter your formation, and I would definitely advise people to to upgrade her for sure, at least to three stars. Three stars is a very efficient point to get her to. You'll get uh, the 38% total attack, the, the tavern boosts. All you'll be missing is the the 4 star and the 3 second active cooldown, which is very strong, but whether it's worth the 320 tokens is very dependent on you and your situation. If you're running her in every PvP formation, 100% worth it. It's a big DPS increase that 4th use of the active ability in combat from the 4th star makes a big difference. That is a lot of damage added to your attacks. But you have to make that decision yourself on how many tokens you have and where you have the rest of your commanders. If you want to get them up to two or three stars before taking her to four.